Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator CC tutorial. I'm in CC 2019, but you don't have to be. But I'm going to show you how to create a pattern inside Adobe Illustrator. And while it sounds like it should be easy, it is in fact kind of complicated. And more importantly, it's not intuitive and user friendly. And I don't know why, but this is the way it is right now. So I am going to show you all of the separate steps. So the first step is if you want to follow along, just go File New and this is create a document. It doesn't matter what size it is guys, I'm just gonna go with a web 1920 by 1080 because it's nice and simple. But again, you guys can do whatever you want. Hit create. Okay, we're in business. It's centered, off we go. The next step is we wanna create some very, very basic art. And we're just basically creating the pattern that we want to repeat across the document. So I'll just go quickly here and the pattern can be like a square and I'm gonna make the fill red. And then the next thing I'll make maybe a circle. These are not the point of the video. So this stuff doesn't matter. This is just to show you the technique. So I'm going very, very quickly through it. You guys can do whatever the heck you want. And then maybe we'll make uh, one star over here somewhere. I don't know. Something like that. Hey, there's a star. You're a star, guys. And I'm going to make that green. Ugly as all hell. There's absolutely no rhyme or reason to it. But again, not the point. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to move it in a little bit. And I'm also going to go ahead and group it. So there you go. We've got some very simple Mickey Mouse art here. And we're on our way. Now the next step is I'm going to make sure everything's selected. I'm going to go to Window and go to Pattern Options. And this is where it starts to get weird. Because when you open Pattern Options to create a pattern, there's everything's grayed out. The whole kit and caboodle, you can't do anything. And that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But if you left click over here on the hamburger menu, you have the option to make a pattern. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And boom, we have a pattern and we can go ahead and it says here the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. So I'm going to left click on that and boom, we've got a pattern here. And you're going to notice that I've got it in five by five, but you can switch it to seven by seven or one by one. Or no, well, not one by one, that's of no value. So let's just go with five by five. But the point is, is we're not trying to fill up the document with this pattern here. We just wanted to create it. And again, it was saved into our swatches. And maybe if we save it, new pattern, I don't know, what do you want to call it? New pattern, star, rectangle, blue, whatever. It doesn't even matter. But I just wanted to make that there. So the next step is you can dim the copies so that if these wanted to be dimmer, but I always recommend unchecking that. And I believe that box is checked by default. So I recommend unchecking it. And I'm going to go ahead and close that up. And then now this is another strange part is you have to go ahead and click done. So also, well, actually let's, uh, yeah, let's click done. So here we go. I'm going to click done and that gets us out of this sort of isolation mode. So when I click that, now it's back to like what we started with when we first created the art, which is absolutely kind of awkward, right? Because now I would kind of want the whole thing to be applied, but it is not. So the next step is you want to delete the original artwork that you made. And now you've got a blank canvas again. Now go over here to your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle across the whole artboard or the whole th or your whole document. And you're going to see here that right now I've got it set to fill green and that's obviously weird looking. But if I left click on that, you see here, and this is the swatches. So when I go into the swatches, so if you really want to take a real quick look, we'll go into swatches. And when I open up swatches, you're going to see when I zoom in here, the new pattern star rectangle blue that we just created. When I left click on that, the pattern is applied to the whole document. And that is how you make a, a pattern and you apply it across the document. So guys, again, not very straightforward in my opinion, but that is the technique. I hope this tutorial helped you. I'll be back soon with a whole bunch more stuff. Thanks for watching.